On this day in 1881, Clara Barton and Adolphus Solomons founded the American National Red Cross, a charitable body with links to the U.S. military that provides humanitarian aid to victims of wars and natural disasters. Barton had convened a meeting on May 12 to discuss her plans at the home of Senator Omar D. Conger, Armish. Fifteen people were present, including Rep. William Lawrence, R. Ohio, who became the organization's first vice president. The story continued below throughout the 1870s and early 1880s, a small group, inspired by Barton, lobbied for congressional approval of the Geneva Conventions. This group often met in Solomon's home in Washington, D.C. At its first meeting in 1881, Barton was elected president and Solomon's a vice president. Solomon's helped draft a Senate resolution endorsing the Geneva Conventions. On March 1, 1882, President Chester Arthur declared that the United States would adhere to the conventions. The Senate ratified his action on March 16. In hopes of Senate approval, Barton and Solomons also drew up the constitution of an organization they named the American Association of the Red Cross. Born in Massachusetts in 1821, Barton had helped wounded soldiers during the Civil War. In 1865, President Abraham Lincoln commissioned her to search for missing prisoners of war. She headed the Red Cross into her 80s and died in 1912. The American Red Cross received its first U.S. federal charter in 1900. Although not a branch of the government, the organization, under a second charter issued by Congress in 1905, continues to this day to provide services to the Federal Emergency Management Agency and to the Department of Veterans Affairs, as well as to state and local relief units coping with natural disasters. In World War I, the Red Cross staffed hospitals and ambulance companies, and recruited 20,000 registered nurses to serve the U.S. military's needs. During World War II, the Red Cross enrolled some 104,000 nurses for military service, prepared 27 million packages for American and Allied prisoners of war and shipped more than 300,000 tons of supplies overseas. It also initiated a national blood program that collected 13.3 million pints of blood for use by the armed forces. After the war, the Red Cross created the first nationwide civilian blood bank program, which continues to this day. The American Red Cross is not involved with prisoners of war, the International Committee of the Red Cross provides those services. Nowadays, the Red Cross supports a nationwide network of more than 650 chapters and 36 blood service regions. Some 500,000 Red Cross volunteers, including FEMA Corps and AmeriCorps members, and 30,000 paid employees, annually mobilize relief to people affected by disasters, train nearly 12 million people in essential medical skills and exchange more than a million emergency messages for U.S. military service personnel and their families. It is also the nation's largest supplier of blood and blood products, serving more than 3,000 hospitals. Source, www.redcross.org